What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute strength and conditioning workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. I'm so excited that you're here for our 40 minute strength and conditioning workout. We are using dumbbells today. I've got eight, 10, 15, and 20 pound dumbbells. We'll be doing some strength moves, a little bit of cardio moves, thrown in with some abs. So you've got a really great all around workout for you today. Make sure also you have water and a sweat towel. Don't forget if you're new here, you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up right down here if you are ready. Okay, make sure also you check out all of our merchandise has been restocked and I want to give you guys the option to grab it. So the bands, the towels, the shaker bottles, all kinds of stuff restocked for you. So if you're interested, you can scroll down in the description below and grab yours. But without further ado, let's get right into this workout. Give me a double thumbs up if you are ready. All right, good. Give me a big wide stance. We're going to sit down first, reaching for the floor in three, two, one, let's go. Reach. And stand. And let your hips open up here. You can use your hands on your knees if you want. And nicely sit. Feel that stretch in your inner thighs and dig those heels down. Good job. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Keep your feet nice and wide. Let's cross your arms right over your chest. So excited that you're here today. I love strength and conditioning. We're gonna be using some dumbbells. We're gonna be working in intervals, hitting some compound moves, hitting some athletic cardio. So appropriate for all levels, of course. Good, all right, let's turn it over to the left. Keep your feet nice and wide. I want you to drill your back heel down, okay? Good, now release that heel and I want you to reach down to the floor and come right back up, drive the heel down. Okay, so we're down and drive. And drive, good job. Three, two, and one. Good, take your feet back together, step out front with the opposite leg. Glue that heel down, out back first. Just get a little stretch in the calf. There we go. And we're going down again. Let's touch and push that heel back down. Activating your quads here, and then I'm also stretching out your calf. There you go. Give me four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring your feet together right here. I want you to sweep your hands back as you hinge your hips back. So sit and extend. Sit back, extend. Big shoulder swing and your hips come through as your arms come forward and up. Good. Little shoulder rotation and also some glute activation. Doing okay? Good, now come up on your toes at the top. Squeeze the glutes, lift, swing, lift. Three, good job, two, and one, perfect. Big hip circles right here. Let's go clockwise first. Or counterclockwise. I'm not sure how to mirror image circle directions. So, one way right now and then we'll switch in just a second. <laughs> All right, here we go, let's switch it over. There we go, let's go three, two, and one. Good, I want you to pick up a light jog while I show you your first exercise. So keep that going. Okay, first move, we've got overhead reverse lunges. Dumbbells are up here, you're gonna step back, up and switch. To modify, dial it back by bringing your dumbbells here. If you cannot uh, do a lunge right now, just take a squat, okay? So grab your dumbbells, let's go in five. Here we go, dumbbells up, three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds right here. And we're gonna superset these workouts today or these exercises in your workout today. Shoulders are nice and stable. Sit down, step back far enough so that both your knees can go to 90 degrees. There you go. Four, three, two, 
one, rest. Dumbbells out of the way. You've got heel tap jacks next. Internal, we're going here. Okay, both hands up. Right here for the internal tap. To modify, take the, hat, the hop out of the equation. Okay, ready? Let's go. There you go. Keep your arms right back up top when you're done. So this is a total body cardio move. Speed it up if you can. You've got six, five. Great work. Two, one. We're back to overhead lunges. Can you go a little heavier? If yes, let's go. Round two, we've got three rounds total. Dumbbells up, let's go in four, three. Relax your shoulders and let's go. Good, you wanna make sure you're not reaching with your shoulders and shrugging, just sit them down and stabilize. Great job, our dumbbells are right over your hips. Three, two, one. Great job. Dumbbells out of the way. We're back to your heel tap jacks. All right, here we go. Four, three, two. Left foot first. Let's go. Good. I want you to tap fingertips before you bring that other arm down. So you've got the urgency of getting that arm back up to meet your heel. Good job, let's go. Here you go, you can get a little lower and quicker if you want. Five, good, three, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round. See if you can step it up either here or with the quickness or both on your heel tap jacks. All right, here we go. Dumbbells up, we're going in four, two, one, let's go. Great job, come on, dig the heels down. Nice job. You got seven, six, Two, one, and rest. Good job. Okay, back to the heel tab jacks. And then we move on to a new circuit, okay? Here we go, three. Two, one, let's go. A little less rest. Took off five seconds of your rest right there. But you know what's coming, let's go. Quicker, lower, boom, boom. That's it. Good, 15. That's it, give me eight. Quicker, quicker for five. Four, three, two, one, rest. You've got 30 seconds rest in your next move, just upper body. We're gonna go curl, press, okay? So hammer curl for your strength right here, okay? Your conditioning is gonna be some mat agility, okay? So moving on and off the mat here. Okay, up and down the front of the mat. Let's go in seven seconds. Grab your curl weight, curl and press. In three, two, one, let's go. Curl, and as soon as you get right in front of your shoulders, drive the palm of your hands up. Keep in mind, we have three rounds, so one of the three, I want you to increase your weight for me, okay? because I know you can. I know it's easy to stick with what's comfortable, so I'm pushing you away from that. You've got three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Move those dumbbells out of the way. No rolled ankles here. Get them out of your way. Two feet forward and back. Okay, if you need to modify, slow it down a little right here. Two, one, let's go. 
on and off, on and off, and use your arms. Way to go a little quicker, pull your core in, sink a little lower, that's it. That's it, give me 10 more seconds. Use your arms, forward back, forward back. Three, two, one, rest. Now, can you go up for curl and press? This is strength, 30 seconds, don't focus on speed, focus on pulling and pushing a challenging weight. Okay, here we go, three, two, one, let's go. And when you come down, place tension on your arms when you unfold as well. Okay, the bicep is working when you curl and when you release the curl. Even more of a challenge, try to stop it before you get all the way down. Curl again. There you go. That's it. Five, four, two, one. Beautiful. Dumbbells out of the way. Remember, no obstacles in agility. <laughs> Move it completely out of your path. All right, here we go. Two feet right under your hips. A little bend, tight core. Forward and back, two, one, let's go. Good, and you can modify this if you need to. Step on, step off, okay? Either way, give me that intensity. Good, 15 seconds, a little quicker. Use your arms, see how I'm swinging mine with my toes? Good, four. Three, two, one. Yes, come on. Last round. Strength, 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 strength. So give me challenging weights here. All right, let's go in five, four. Come on, we got it. Three, two, one. Tight core, pull, push. Great job. Feel that elbow bending. You got it. No swinging. Control those dumbbells. They stay moving, but your body does not. Nothing else moves but your arms. You've got four, three, two, one. Rest. Great job. Last round. Mad agility. Forward and backwards. All right, here we go. Little bend, tight core. Three, two, one, use your arms, go. Good, come on. We're moving on to some core and cardio next, so give me all you got here. Woo! 15 seconds, let's go, quicker. Lower and faster, yes. Go, 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 seven. Come on. Three, two, one, rest. It's okay if you trip over your mat. I do it pretty much every single workout. So 30 seconds, grab some water. We'll start again at 27, 15 with jackknives. I want you to grab one dumbbell, holding it with your two hands. Whatever the weight is, it's gonna be up to you. But here's what we've got. Okay, grab one dumbbell, stays here, up, down, okay? So let's go in five seconds, grab that weight, or if you don't wanna use a weight, just get down and ready. Two, one, let's go. And you can see me kind of keeping my shoulder blades off the ground here. That's just stepping it up a little bit. If you need to unfold, and get a little swing, that's okay too. But if you can, keep the crunch. As soon as your lower back hits, lift again. And rest, good. Woo, come on up for standing mountain climbers. Okay, so the legs are going first. Right here, opposite arm. So you're here, here. If you can speed that up, you're here. Ready, let's go. We'll give your shoulders a little break there. I had mercy on your soul here. I did have regular mountain climbers on the program today, but I want you to really push those arms, so I'll stand you up. We'll move with intensity. 
There you go. Let's go 10. You gotta make it worth it. Don't make me regret that decision. Don't be coasting here. Five, four, faster, three, faster. Rest. Come on back down, jackknives. Now that you know, I gave you a little break. See if you can add a dumbbell. See if you can go heavier with your dumbbell. All right, jackknives. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go. Good job, 14. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Move that dumbbell out of your way. Standing mountain climbers. Remember, if you're modifying, you can go drive, opposite arm, boom, boom, okay? If you can hop, add the hop. Either way, intense. Ready, let's go. Go, go, go. Good job. 15 seconds, a little quicker. Pull the core in, pull the knees up. Punch, punch, punch. Good, four. Come on, three, two. One, jackknives last round, let's go. Woo. Heart rate up yet? Oh yeah, me too. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, press your lower back in to the mat. Come up first with your upper and then bring your legs. Seven, six. Go for it, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful, standing mountain climbers, dumbbell is out of your way. Woo, doing good, seven seconds. Let's go start here. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, I'm with you. Now think about, can you pull your stomach in? Can you punch faster? And can you get those knees up higher? 15 seconds, show me, let's go. Good, let's go. Eight, seven, five, faster. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. 30 seconds rest. We're gonna start again at 22.30 with sumo squat, lateral lift. This is gonna be a lighter dumbbell because it's shoulders. Whew. It's just kind of like it sounds. Dumbbells float in the middle here. Feet are wide. You're here, lateral, okay? Grab your dumbbells. Let's go in three, two, one. Sit it down, butt goes back and down. Great job. Good. If you need to modify, just slow this one down. It's all about compound strength on this one. Lots of joints are moving. Five. Four, two, one. Move your dumbbells out of the way. A skips are next. So if you've ever been a track athlete, you might have done these, but think of it as a skip, okay? Double hop on the bottom. Now I want you to clap under, okay? If you're not ready for the hop, you're right here. Two, one, let's go. Feel free to move. Keep it quick though. Also, don't let it stretch out. Keep it tight here. Go fast. Good, 10 seconds. Come on, three, two, one, rest. 
Great job. Now, can you go heavier on your lateral raises? It's up to you. If you think maybe, then the answer is probably yes. Try it out. Even if you have to drop down halfway through, it's fine. Just move into those heavier weights and try it. Ready? Let's go. Good, sit down in the middle. Make sure you're not shifting left or right to your stronger leg. Okay, I know that happens to me sometimes too. Sit down in the middle, push equally in both feet. There you go. Three, two, one. Beautiful. A skips. If you're not hopping, you're here quickly. Okay? You can make that light and dynamic still. Okay? Three, two, start the skip. And let's go. Tap, tap. Good. Move if you can. Keep your speed up, though. Go, go, 15. Knee to the hip level. Come on, nine. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Last round, sumo squat, lateral raise. Can you go up? If yes, let's go. Stay there if you need to. Whatever you're doing, good form, right? Here we go, three. Two, one, sit it down and lift. Both feet push into the floor. We got 14 equal arms, too. Work hard. Nine, eight, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Great job, dumbbells out of the way. I just don't want you rolling your ankle. I fall on my mat, which is a very flat surface, so if we can get those out of the way, save some injuries, that's why I keep saying it. Three, two, one, skip it out, let's go. Core tight, knees fast. Good. Can you give me more intensity in these last 15? I think yes, here we go. 13, 12, 10 seconds, let's go. Good, five, four, quicker. Three, two, one, rest for 30. We're going again at 17.45 over there. Renegade rows. We're stepping it up here a little bit, okay? You've got options, I'm gonna start showing you here. One row, one push up, okay? Push up can be on your knees. I want your row to be up tall. So if you need to go hands outside, that's fine. Row, push up, okay? Whatever variation of those two you need, let's do it, okay? Come with me in three, two, one. Let's go, one row, one push up. Think about breathing your elbow in and then breathing a tight rib cage on your pull up, or on your push up. If your hands need to be on the ground, that's okay. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Dumbbells out of the way again. We're going drop squats all the way up and down. We're going high, low, lower, okay? So you've got one, two, three. Hop it back. One, two, three. Okay, if you need to step, that's fine too. All right, we'll go in 10 seconds. I'll give you a little extra rest because I want you to know. Here, squat lower, squat lowest. Step it back. Okay, let's go in two, one, here we go. Down, down, hop it back. Down, down, hop it back. <sighs> However you can get back there, let's go. There you go, 10 seconds. Good job, three, two, one, rest. 
There's no exact perfect science to that. So if you felt a little off on that one, it's okay. You're just going from squat to low squat and then stepping back and starting over. Okay? Renegade rows in three, two, one, let's go. Dumbbells are right under your shoulders. Good, 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, come on back. Drop squats. You're doing fantastic. Keep talking positive. We're doing great. We're here, we're lower in the middle, we're lowest at that end, and just back pedal back, okay? Ready? Let's go. Drop down, drop all the way. Down, down. Down, down. Good job. Sit, sit, push it back. Come on. Seven seconds. Two, one. Rest. One last round. Whew. This is a tough circuit, I know. Whew. Big deep breath, we're going in seven. Give me a big inhale. Whew. Three, two, one. Let's do it, finish out this last round, come on. Hips are level, feet can be wide too. Come on, I'm with you, you got 10 more seconds. Let's go for four, two, one, rest. Move those dumbbells, last round of your drop squats. Woo. Anybody else sweating yet? Woo. Last round here, let's go in two, one, here we go. Get back into it quick, down, lower. Good, come on, sit, sit, push back. Seven seconds, anyone else feel like this is a little bit rude after leg day yesterday? It's okay, you got it. Two, one, 30 seconds rest. Whew. All right, we've got some cardio and we've got some speed next. Sorry, core and speed, okay? So we're gonna take one dumbbell on the ground here and we're gonna go for some uh, rotational core. So in 10 seconds, you're gonna go plank roll. Okay, dumbbells in the middle. You're rolling onto the sides of your feet, open, bring it down and switch. Okay, to modify, no dumbbell. Just keep it here, roll over, maybe tap your hip. Okay, let's go in eight seconds. Get your dumbbell, get ready. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Roll your feet onto the sides. Stabilize, open hip, open chest, and switch. I want you to look up at the dumbbell, watch it as it goes. Keep your hips and your chest open. Good. If your feet slide back a little bit, just pull them back in. It's okay. Six, five. One more, three, two, one, rest. Dumbbell out of the way. Four and four, four fast, four medium. Four high knees, one, two, three, switch to fast after four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ready, let's go. I won't count, you do your own counting. Fast, slow. Good, come on. Make those fast ones really fast. Seven. Three, two, 
one, rest. Great job. Back to your planks. Let's open it up on the side. Now, make it a little spicier when you open up. Go in here, go down one, two, and then switch over, okay? Two hip drops on the side. Ready? Let's go, if you can. Come back down, same thing. Good job, you'll feel the stretch. Keep rocking, eight, seven. Good job, three, two, one, rest. Woo. Last round of those are gonna be exactly the same. So if you can step up your weight, let's do it. It'll be the same thing. Four and four, are you ready? Three, come on, we got it. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, slow. It's like take off sprint and then slow it down, you finished. Take off sprint, finish line. Good job. That's it, 10 more seconds. Use your arms as well. Four, three, and rest, good. Last round, can you give me a little more weight on this one? Seriously, only do this if you feel controlled. Feel like your core is strong enough, your stabilization in your shoulder is good. Here we go, three, two, one, roll it over, pull press, one, two. Good job. Ten more seconds. Stay stable. Through the dips. Stable, stable. Three, two, one, rest. Last round of four and four. Woo! You still with me? We've got one more superset after this, so keep it with me. Stay strong. Four and four. Four fast. And four faster. Ready? Let's go. Look how my arms go dramatically on the fast. Go hard. Good, come on. 15. Five seconds, even faster. Last round, ready? Two, one, and rest. You've got 30 seconds rest. We're starting at 7.45 on the clock over there with lateral lunge, tricep overhead extension. One dumbbell here. Whew. Okay, step it. Dumbbell is here. Step over, extend, and back. Or you can stay wide here. Okay, let's just do this actually. Stay wide here, you're gonna bend and bend, push and push. Ready? Let's go, come with me. Push your hips back, keep your back flat. Bend and push. If you need to modify, extension here, lateral lunge, extension here, lateral lunge, okay? Either way, you're extending and you're lunging. You've got three, two, one, rest. Dumbbell out of the way again. Come down into a track start, okay? One foot up, one foot back. Left leg is up, left arm is gonna lift. You're putting it down, switch, lift, same side arm, okay? Let's go in two, one, switch over, lift the coordinating arm. If you need to modify, step up, step back, lift. Up, back, lift. Okay, if you can hop, let's do it. Six, five. Rest, good job. Sorry, I couldn't really count there. <laughs> back to the front, lateral lunge, tricep extension, round two. If you can go heavier, let's do it. Know what you need here, okay? 
Wide stance. Two, one. Let's go. Big push in the heel. In middle. Sit, push, middle. 15. Good job, come on. 10, nine. We're so close. Good job. Three, two, one. Come on back. Move it out of the way. Same side arm is lifting as your front leg. Okay, so left foot up, left arm up. Jump or step to switch. Ready, let's go. If you're stepping, step up, step back, lift. Try to keep your face right in the same place. 12 seconds, come on. Five. Let's go, four, three, two, one. Okay, 15 seconds, one round of each. You've made it, we've got a nice long cool down, okay? Whew. If you can step it up, let's go. We've got three, and let's go. <laughs> Push through this last little bit of strength. Think core tight, heels down. Big push. 15. Five, four, two, one. Beautiful job, you're done with the dumbbells. Just put it up, come on down. Don't even think about it. We're going left foot up. In five, big deep breath for me. As you exhale, let's go. Two, one, let's get it. Come on, last round. Can you pop those hips and move and land quicker? Core tight, up, up. Go, go. Come on, you got it. 14. Last half, this is your fastest. 10 seconds, here we go. Seven, four, three, two, one. Drop to your knees. Come on down, wide knees. Toes are together, sit back. And let those arms relax for just a second. Feel your lungs up. Good, come on up, shift back forward. Hips down, let's look up. Come on up to tabletop position. Big deep breath in as you let your back drop. Exhale, pull it up. And let's keep that going. Inhale, drop. Exhale, lift. One more, inhale, exhale, lift. Keep that lifted spine. Relax your shoulder blades out to the side. And come on down and have a seat with me. Crisscross applesauce or soles of your shoes together, whichever feels best for you. Hands are together, push forward and over to the right. Keep your chest nice and tall. Glide it over. Keep breathing, this is a really good stretch. I did this with the Sydney squad a couple nights ago. Love this one. Good, now go ahead and let your head drop. Keep that same glide motion. When you get to one side, hold for three, two, one, glide back. Relax your neck. Good, come back into the middle. Big tall spine, lift your chin. Great job. All right, flip back over onto your hands and knees. I want you to push your tailbone up, tuck your toes, 
down dog and push your heels down for me. Stretch your calves. Very slowly, take 10 seconds to walk your hands back to your toes. You've got nine, eight, seven, slow, six, five, two, one. Come back here, put your weight in your feet and grab onto your elbows. Let your head hang. And bend your knees just a little, slowly roll up with your head coming up last. Stay here for a second. Okay, when you feel ready, grab onto your left foot, heel to glute. I just want you to kind of relax right now, okay? I'm not gonna say anything for a bit, just breathe. I want you to reflect on the week. How was it for you? Was it great? Are you proud of it? Switch legs. I want you to always start with being proud of it, okay? You did what you could in that day. Maybe it wasn't perfect, and that's okay. It's not always gonna be perfect. But first and foremost, be proud of the fact that hopefully you are working hard, okay? You are doing your best. Be proud of that. Always accept your own self-criticism, right? Don't take it from other people. You don't have to say, you know, answer to this person like you're not eating enough, you're eating too much. Don't take it from anyone else, but just reflect on your own self, okay? Are you proud of your efforts? Number one, can you say yes, can you say no? Okay, regardless of that answer, you can absolutely learn from the week that you had. Okay, where were the areas that you could improve on? Were they preparation with nutrition? Were they setting aside time that is not negotiable because it's your workout time? Was it sleep? Okay, do you have to start your bedtime routine earlier? Trust me, for a lot of us, that's yes. Okay, do you need to work on something to get you up out of bed when your alarm goes off? For a lot of us, that's also yes. Can you work on having your water bottle always around you? You always know where it's at to stay hydrated. One of those four areas I know that you can improve on. It's not to say beat yourself up for the last week, but it's to say, looking back, I see what I did. I'm proud that I worked hard. I hope you can say that. And looking forward to the next week, what are the four areas, which or which combo of these four can you work on? And then taking that next step, I want you to comment below with what you're going to do. Okay, that's the step that people stop at. They say, I need to get better at hydration. And then that's it. So what are you gonna do to get better at hydration? What are you gonna do to get better at your sleeping uh, patterns, arrangements, routines, whatever it is? What are you going to actually do? And I want you to comment that below, okay? Don't leave until you comment below. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to have a water bottle. I'm going to set my alarm for six, and I'm gonna turn on something motivational and get up at six. Whatever it is, I need you to comment below. As your trainer, it's my job to hold you accountable, so let's move into that progress. Okay, let's not just think about it, let's do it. All right, so comment below what your step is gonna be. Before you head out, if you finish the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps me a lot. Helps YouTube get these workouts to more people, it helps more people get access to us if you're subscribed as well. Okay, so make sure if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, I'd love for you to stick around, give the video a thumbs up if you finished it, and subscribe to the channel. And guys, great yoga session coming for you tomorrow. It is a long one, but it's perfect for anyone who is getting into yoga or getting into flexibility or getting into the fitness routine or anyone really. I promise I benefited greatly from it. So check that out tomorrow. It's 60 minutes, so be aware. It's a longer one, lots of introduction, lots of cueing, lots of technique cues, plenty of helpful tips from Sydney Duarte. So check it out tomorrow. Comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, I'm proud of you.